Hi everyone, Gray Power 60 here. So, um, just a follow up of making these boxes. These I was making them for the puppy treats. Now I'm making some for my hot chocolate and my popcorn treat boxes. And I used this, if you remember my, my video where I showed you how to make it. And of course, it's not my idea. I got it from Tamika, and I spelled her name wrong, and I apologize. But uh, anyway, um, so when I was doing these, remember we cut out all of these corners from that. Sorry about my, I shouldn't lean on the table because it wiggles my camera. Um, so all of these corners I kept. Now what I'm doing, and I'll show you, I've kind of decorated a few. I'm using some punches just to make some little embellishments for the corners. I did some here on this one instead of doing a, a belly band kind of thing. Um, and then, of course, I've got these ones, which are unicorn ones. And when I cut these, these were strips that was in, you know, big sheets, the 12 by 12 you get, sometimes you'll get a page with strips of uh, borders. And I had to cut it, I cut it by nine, so it would fit around, so about nine inches fits right around there. Um, and I kept this and I put it in here in case I wanted to use it for embellishment for something, um, the, maybe put it up here, maybe use it on the topper. So I wanna save that piece with it and that's what I am doing right now I'm just kind of and there's the piece oops for this one so I just kind of kept those and I have them all in here this this clear potato that I got at the dollar store it works perfectly for this so what I'm doing is just some of them are Christmassy and some of them aren't and I am just embellishing them now. So I'm putting the belly band on. It's not a belly band, but, you know, whatever this thing is, you know, just to decorate it. And um, that's what I am up to right now. Now the corners I am now using to cut out, you know, embellishment backgrounds, things like that. And, excuse me. <coughs> Okay, so what I'm doing is I, I bought this punch. It was on sale at Michael's. I think I got it for like $5 or something. It was really cheap. But, you know, you can make flowers with this, you know, and all kinds of things. But what I'm doing with it is I'm just taking the corner, trying to use up as much paper as I can. And I'm just fitting it in there so that I have a little piece. Now, there's not enough to, to put another one so I'm just making a leaf out of the rest of it that I might be using and that way I'm using up all of my scraps I'm trying anyway uh, and you get little pieces sometimes if you're cutting it the wrong not the wrong way but a different way anyway so that's what I'm doing today and I just thought I would share that with you that you know it's a good way to use up my scraps. Oops. I'm going to shake you guys all over. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, I wanted to share that with you. And then what I've done is just put a few together here. Um, these were cute with the pine cones on the background. Let me see if you can see that properly. Oh. It's not going to focus properly. Anyway, um, so I'm just making up things here. One, I had an old stamp that I had purchased. It's a little car. Let's see if I can get that. And I thought, oh, I'll just put it on there just for something. And then, you know, if I want to embellish it more, I can. But right now all I'm doing is stamping these out and putting them in my stash so that I can have them for, um, you know, embellishments. And they're all pre-cut now, so I don't have to sit there and, you know, cut out a whole bunch of stuff. 
Look at that one's from the unicorn paper. Anyway, that's what I'm up to today, and I thought I would share that with you. I'm just preparing all of these. Uh, some of these will be um, popcorn holders, and I'm hoping uh, when I go and look for um, Halloween candy, I will, I'm hoping to get the small packages of Twizzlers so I can put popcorn in there, uh, chocolate bar, uh, some Twizzlers, the little ones, because kids always love those. I love those. Um, and just a few little things in here and make a hot, um, not a hot cocoa, make a um, popcorn package for a change, you know, because we're always doing the hot cocos, which is great. Um, an other, another trick I wanted to show you, um, when you were cutting the corners, oh, it's not focusing. Why are you not focusing? There we go. Okay. See that rim, how that is jagged? If I had folded it the other way, that jag would be inside. So just to let you know, depending on which way you fold it. If you fold it that way and you don't want to um, cut a paper and fold that in, you know, to hide it, you can use, I have this old... Um, kind of like a oh my gosh my brain has gone dead now um it's like sandpaper anyway I just kind of bow it a little bit and as I'm using that you can do that now I also have a nail file you can also use a nail file or an emery board emery board probably work a little bit better but I don't want to tear it too much and all I'm doing is just smoothing that out. So if you've made that mistake, or if you've not made it, it's not really a mistake. But if you've cut it that way, and you've folded it all up, and the paper is, you know, when you cut it, all those little fringes or all those little pieces are out, you can use a nail file. An emery board works good. I don't have one with me, and I think I did. And my little, oh, I do. I do. Here it is. I was looking for it last night. All right. So, and I use the softer side, not not the harder side. You can use both. It doesn't matter. Until you get that smoothed right out. If all of those little pieces, if you're not covering it, that's what you can do. These are all just little tips I thought I would share with you. And uh, I'm getting on with my little packets here so that I can get them ready for the um, craft fair. The other thing that I did, these corners here, I rounded them. I like them rounded, but that's just me. You don't have to do that. I don't think I did that with the puppy treats, but it didn't matter because it kind of looked cute anyway. All right, guys, thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.